Hey everybody, I'm Nigger here and welcome back to Moons of Madness. My heart rate is higher than usual and that is because I went for a run this morning and I guess I haven't quite, I haven't quite like gotten it down. Um, also, I need to, I need to do the thing because my eye tracking soft or my eye tracking hardware does not like working properly. And by does not like working properly, I mean for some reason it just constantly dies and I have to unplug it and plug it back in. But there it goes. Alright, so we've got a much higher baseline for heart rate. That is, that feels unhealthy. Anyway, like yeah, I'm kind of getting back into shape, but normally my heart rate is what, in the 70s? I don't know, maybe it's the heart rate monitor. I'm looking to improve my heart rate monitor situation. Uh, I'm going to be recording... This episode for the, this is for the 26th, I believe, or no, yes, this is for the 26th, and I'll be recording one more for after that. This is my childhood basement, right? And the heart rate monitor, I should just turn it off, but I want it to work so much better than it is, is the problem. Like, that's me muddling with it and messing with it. Maybe I need... I need to get the gel. He's getting the gel. This is not, uh, I hate this gel. It's, it's electroconductive gel designed to, as one might expect, make the connection easier. However, it is cold. It is cold and it is squishy and when it dries, it kind of leaves like I, I don't i don't know how to describe it it's not like it it's basically just a saline solution in in gel i see light behind the bookcase c b e h e same as the second one the periodic table in laundry room match atomic with volume number okay so yeah carbon beryllium helium so carbon beryllium helium beryllium and that's going to be the combination carbon. And we have to use their atomic numbers, which I don't know off the top of my head. I do know that carbon is 8. Carbon is 8. I know that because... Um, and this is, the, this is the nerdiest way to know this. I know this because CO2, carbon dioxide... Actually, wait. Maybe I'm wrong. I very well could be wrong. Carbon six, damn it. Yeah, because oxygen is eight. Right, right, right. I was, I was counting in my head the number of bonds, but I forgot that oxygen bonds twice, not once, because it's missing two valence electrons. Whereas carbon has four extra valence electrons. Uh, yeah. Okay, so carbon... Oh, it's, it's conveniently right there. So six, four... Uh, six, four, two... Six four two four. Well, that was fun. Also, my heart rate monitor. Like I felt, I felt the slight, the the slight spark. Oh, here we are. Yeah, heart rate monitor's getting stuck. I, I I'm gonna get a better setup. I'm I'm just using like a Garmin, my Garmin one that I use for running. Uh, along with the an antenna. I have to do my inventory. All right. Oh, I see. So you go six, four, two, four. 
six, four, two. seen this room before was mom really keeping this thing down here i remember her being an eccentric but not like this looks like something stuck here Why, 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 why am I whining the fucking monkey? Are those people flying out of the ship? I wonder if this timestamp is important. 4815? It's, it's the Manticore logo. It definitely looks like the Cyrano. At least I don't have to deal with tentacles. Right, I'm gonna read it this way. Time is not linear, is it? Or maybe time is a flat circle, a petri dish poked by gigantic fingers. Are we the bacteria? Are we? Or sorry, we are the bacteria. Are we? I keep seeing things outside of my time. It makes things difficult with my family. I've locked myself down here. With blank photo paper and chemicals, I'm able to make my visions manifest. I can project such sights. I see a space vessel heading towards the red planet. Uh-oh. That means that whoever is coming, or is supposed to be arriving, is probably in trouble. It's that thing in the greenhouse. Hmm. That timestamp might be of use. Looks like something's stuck here. All right, I have the pry tool. Okay, see that that got me. That actually got me, but my heart rate monitors. It looks like some sort of doorway. Maybe I should take note of that. Trying to give myself all the tools to succeed here. That was weird. I, I know what happened, but that was still weird. The door is coded to try and be as open as you are through the door. So when I approach the door, it triggered to close when I looks like I'm being closed on. Their liquid dreams lubricate the passage. Call it Nurgle's Rot. Call it the Devouring Plague. Call it the Zero Point Pathogen. The Black Worm Jism. The Filth. The Sizzling Celestial Syphilis Eats Holes in Reality. One might enter these shrieking zones. To leave, one must find the tear in the skin of space. Yach Ptagu. Yach Shag. Yach Shog. That is so fucking... Oh my gosh. It's so Cthulhu. It's amazing. La falma fatagen, la gnai fatagen, ya athk sahun. The dreaming ones were and are and will be. They are parent, spawn, and manager also, sleeping in the space between. Their dreams bubble and blaspheme, birthing quivering dimensions that mate with each other, forming new incestuous dominions. Not reality, not illusion, hyper reality. The proper incantations allow travel into these pocket dimensions, but one might fall in by happenstance through knowledge of the Dreaming Ones through proximity. That's always good news. symbols on these tablets. A 
pair of orbs. Weird. Even from this photo, it feels like they're watching me. There are no solar eclipses on Mars. Phobos and Deimos are far too small. Total lunar eclipses of Phobos, however, are nearly nightly occurrences. These frightful siblings do not behave as our moon does. Fleet Phobos rises in the west, sets in the east, and rises a mere 11 hours later. Deimos rises more lazily from the east. Both moons are tidally locked, always showing the same face towards Mars. They never look away. They stare fixedly. Phobos stalks Mars. Its orbit decreases slowly. Someday it will crash into the red planet. Evidence suggests Mars may have had many more moons at one time, each meeting their fate. E each meeting that fate. Each committing self-destruction. Right, I know there's the board with the connections. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. They're timestamps, so... I'm just going by timestamp order here. So basically, this is all going to culminate in something fucking weird. These symbols, they're similar to the ones on the altar. One of the tablets started glowing when I neared the altar. I suspect the blank ones are missing something. It implies there's something out in the fucking heart rate monitor. Whoa, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, that one got me. And you can't fucking see it because the heart rate monitor. There it goes. One of the tablets started glowing when I neared the altar. Yeah, she slept down here. That's actually a really cool image. I should just turn the heart rate monitor off. Because it's just lying. Does this I, I I wonder if this needs to be clapping. Nope, okay. I was I was wondering, there's really not much left here. I don't know what else to do. 
Missing something, sure, but what? Do I just need to kill all the power? Symbols were similar to the ones at the altar. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so there are symbols in the basement. But not, it wasn't all of them. How many do I expect for there to be? Probably four. Probably have to get them all on screen. Maybe three is enough. Three is probably not enough. No, three is not enough. Figured it was four. Question is, where is the fourth one? Like, I'm, I'm sure that I'm just barely missing it because I'm trying to freaking troubleshoot my heart rate monitor on the fly. No, that's not what I wanted you to say. I wanted to figure out what shape I'm looking for, because I imagine... I imagine it's the first row of the next tablet. Oh, there it is. I can feel them vibrating behind my eyes. There we go, four. Really? That's not enough? Do I have to look at them all at once? Oh, they're gone. Maybe I just have to interact with the tablet again. Oof. So many achievements just popped up. Uh, it's been so long since I've been in here. Declan. Declan. No response. Calm still down. Read 
reason the rocks decks change each night by making it work. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. No power. Right. Shit broke. But there's another way up over here, right? Right? Right, I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, no. You know, for a second I thought I had fixed my heart rate because I, I, while that loading screen was going, I tried to, to give the process priority that was displaying it. Oh, okay, that time I didn't have to jostle it. Okay, I need a power cell, but we don't have a power cell. Do I? Okay, no, I don't. Oh. Oh, well, I don't know what the freaking... What's the security? It's gotta be over here. Seven, three, five, seven. Passwords seem a little bit odd on Mars. Am I am I wrong? Just checking my oxygen. Oh, seven three five seven, I'm dumb. Oh, oh Jesus, buddy! No, this is crazy. Who would even write all this? There's, so, I, I appreciate that there are so many fucking markers in here that it's stupid. Okay, before I go too far, I'm going to go ahead and top off my oxygen. See, when I look at it, when I look at my heart rate, it suddenly unfreezes. So I don't know if my heart is just being very consistent. Or if I'm just getting that whole watch pot never boils shenanigans. Very good question. Okay, one stack of rocks, fine. This, though, Declan is either really bored or somebody. I don't know. It... Let's just hope he has too much time on his hands. Oh, cool. We've got a refill oxygen here. 
Eight percent. Is it worth it? You betcha. All right. I think I think the always on top for that process is actually improving it. I wonder how far you could fall on Mars without breaking a bone. Because gravity is less there, we've discussed this actually. I have a feeling that he's either not going to be here or he is hella dead. This bridge is going to collapse. Nope, okay. <laughs> it's one of those things that it's really easy to populate Mars. Like the... Uh, I need to go to the dish, but yeah, okay, I figured I was going to have to go inside. gone crazy don't freak out just find out where he is Declan right of your fantastic adventures dad no I wanted to read it I wanted to read it dad gave this to me we had this little 12 by 10 by 10 case of personal effects that we could seal up before launch and I almost left this behind but it helps to write sometimes not sure why lying bothers me so much my dad, my sister, they still think I'm freezing my ass off for climate studies in Antarctica. I don't know about fantastic adventures, Father Dears, but last night I dreamed I was on one of those celebrity dance shows, and my partner was Catherine Hepburn, and we won, even though she was obviously dead. <laughs> oh, gosh, but it was great. Then I woke up, wrote down numbers from space for six hours, and I drilled a tiny hole into 17 rocks, all while being a single reinforced pane of glass away from death. It's a real roller coaster here on Mars. Must be the Gaelic side of me coming out. I've been building cairns. I used, I used to do a lot of hiking. I get annoyed by these ro little rock piles people would build along the trails as if to say I was here. I have developed fine motor skills. Look at me. But the bonus of hiking on Mars is the leave no trace eth ethos is kind of optional on a completely deserted wasteland. During EVAs, I have started to take a moment, grab a few loose pieces, and build a cairn. My little zen garden balancing the rocks. It felt nice. Lately, though, I've, I see the rocks moving. I tested my theory, although the, in the fuck-all, most limited, unscientific way. I'd make a new stack with the finest Martian rock samples I could find, pristine, dusty rocks, and then I'd wait a day. They wouldn't fall over. No, that'd be too simple. One stack would have a single rock swapped. Not an easy rock like the top piece, but a centerpiece. One centerpiece swapped from one stack to the other. No glove marks. Nothing. Just two shitty Martian rocks that I swear change places in the middle of the night. Why am I writing this? When a person is drowning, their throat seizes up, preventing water from entering their lungs, but also air. The reflex is so strong you could be floating there with your mouth well above the water's surface, unable to cough, unable to breathe. You don't drown because you're underwater, you drown because of yourself. Sticking a needle in the webbing between your toes. It sounds so horrific like your natural reflexes would kick in, but it's the reverse. 
the emotions dive. The depression slams you with a singular focus. Your mind starts justifying it all, releasing a hint of those chemicals. You're pretty much a tiny little voice trying to control this monstrosity. It's nearly impossible. And so this natural reflex to hurt yourself so terribly and specifically becomes everything. So you drown in it. Jesus Christ, my hand is shaking. I think I'll sleep at base tonight. Get out, get out of here for a bit heart rate i see you being still oh well uh it was it was going so oh well now i'm dead hey everybody i'm dead i didn't even i didn't even move it off anyway um hey it's the witch i haven't been sleeping well understatement Sometimes I can't tell when I'm awake or dreaming. The numbers keep coming. The message starts to, to make... Bleh, the messages start to make sense. Spending time at the base doesn't help. It's a hassle trying to come up with reasons why I need a rover ride every day. Just a bit of casual hallucinations, everyone. Nothing to worry about. If you could pick me up before the flashbacks start at around 6 in the evening, that'd be swell. Maybe I'll build another cairn. Let the witch move the rocks around. Fun pastime. Wish I had a beach chair and a margarita. Might as well enjoy my descent into insanity. I saw the witch today. I'm still shaking. Looked out the window and my sister is standing on the cliffside. My sister. She was stark naked out in the nothing of Mars, choking. Eyes bulging out of her head like a goldfish fallen out of the bowl. Nearly killed myself throwing my suit on. I get out there. I run, stumbling around, the, around to the barriers. Instead, there is a person with a paleness to her. Deep black hair and she is facing away, looking out over the endless dunes. When she turns to look at me, it is not my sister. A deep black hole where a face might be. A gray slit curled into a smile. I feel a taste. I feel and taste granules of sand pouring into my open mouth, and suddenly, I can't breathe. She slowly draws near as I slam my fists on my chest, trying to breathe. Tendrils of blackness reach out from, the, from that endless void in her skull. I'm sinking into the desert. She's trying to pull me under. And I wake up gasping for air. I don't lose it like this. I just don't. Fuck this. Shit, this is bad. I'm sorry, Declan. I didn't know how bad it was. He can't stay alone out here anymore. He needs help. Yeah. To be fair, I'm pretty sure that most of the... Like... Um, discussions about traveling in space involve some sort of uh, mental um, evaluation assistance things like that slight fluctuation in ray rotation during calibration diagnostics for self-clean systems require filter replacement slight dip in power to non-critical systems due to solar array generator power at 94.7 eva to recent rock slide at heavy transport elevator 2b Estimate to clear and assess approximately three days. Yeah, that looks pretty bad, actually. Emergency protocol, something is wrong with the dish. Circuit board shorted, no prior warning, just sparks flying mid-transmission. Yeah, there was a sandstorm, but we've never seen a blackout like that. Circuit's fried while I'm sitting here. Had to manually reboot the backup generators slash servers, which should have automatically engaged. I don't know. New to do. Temporarily reroute circuit boxes, run a bio gauge scan, manually calibrate satellite dish. Where is Shane? Draft. Due to a recent sandstorm and server malfunction, customer wide communications will be down for several hours. Backup servers have been activated and will function as the new primary communication network, though at a significantly reduced intensity and radius. Chief Engineer Shane Newhart has been informed of the damage and will be tasked with circuit repairs. Until then, expect intermittent comms interruptions while the network is reestablished. Thank you for understanding. Interesting. Shane, where are you? I see. If you see this, we're headed back to base. We waited, but you were nowhere. I'm with Josie and Lucas, and we're taking the rover back. We'll lose contact for a second. Your rover coordinates disappear, and suddenly the satellite goes nuts. I don't know if it was a freak sandstorm or what. Doesn't matter. Get back to base. Contact us. Whatever you can do. Just hope you see this. I don't know how much I like the way that they handle power cells here like it seems pretty crappy the way that they do it we're still at a hundred percent
Now it's about episode time, isn't it? I don't mind looking down. Ah. Holy shit. Yep. Oh my god, please just be a meteor. I'm glad it redirected us. Cause I was not looking in that direction. Reached a checkpoint. Of course, add it to our inventory. Like, I don't know why you'd... I mean, I guess I can understand why you'd take it out before you leave. To save power. Burning plastic. Definitely a short in the system. I need to find a way to reroute power around the damaged nodes. Oh, those are the damaged nodes. Aren't they, though? Okay. Oh. This panel distributes power between the dish and the PC terminal, and that busted node means I can only power one of them at a time. This is the computer. We should read the computer first. Right, Shane goes missing, lose contact with Cyrano, then the circuit boxes start going haywire. Yeah, that was the Cyrano that crashed. Pull just enough power to the dish to Josie and get some sort of signal, and it all just resets. What a beautiful day on Mars. Reminder, sure, Orochi, or Orokai, or, uh, 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 we'll find out I'm breaking the rules, but I can never remember the constantly changing code schedule. Code name: our glorious leaders, Chatterbox, comms relay station, restaurant, Cyrano, Marble, where Antarctica is... Well, that's good to know, actually. Uh, calibration must be performed manually via bio gauge after security authorization via ID badge due to the potentially compromising aspects of calibration and on outgoing signals. Access to calibration routines is limited to engineering staff. After initial calibration is achieved, the Angelus Communications Array utilizes automated routines to maintain calibration. Note that if the targeted signal cannot be followed, for example, due to going under the horizon, the Angelus will need to be manually calibrated when the signal is available. Generally, general signal quality should be maintained at or above 85% at all times. Lower signal quality may result in interruption of service. Per Orochi's security policies, calibration information may not be stored in any form, encrypted or otherwise. Alternate every 15 minutes by script. Code name 14061, Marvel 1278, Chatterbox negative 15843. Okay, so that's the, the Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I don't want to have to redo it. I don't know which one I'm going to have to go to. Yeah, 
Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to pick this one. This circuit box is amping up the current. Too much power will fry the system. Too little, and the dish won't work. Okay, so I need to go through a grand total of plus six. Sandstorm's picking up again. Things just keep getting worse. I need to establish communication with the base, but I don't know how to do that. I don't think I can do it in here. Oh. I'm dumb. I mean, that's, that's fair. This just takes time. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. That's as good as I can get it. It's a Tita. Like that's that's as high as I can get it. Oh shh. I was trying to move. Hello. Oh, I had to left click. Nothing ever seems to work right. Commander Wilcox. Doctor Volkova. Dr. Van Buren! Still not working. I'm hearing something disturbing going on on that radio. Come on, someone respond! Please! Seventy seven's a new high. Nothing ever seems to work right. Commander Wilcox, Doctor Volkova, Doctor Van Buren. Still not working. All right, okay. It it gave me. Okay, chatterbox. Negative 158.43. I don't know if that's helping at all.
I knew I was going to need those numbers. Come on, someone respond. Please. All hands on deck situation. Crash landed. Oh, yep. Okay. Commander Wilcox, where are you? Something. Earhart? Do you copy? There is a creature roaming Trailblazer Alpha. Do not return to base. Repeat, do not. I can't hear you. You're cutting out. We are at base. We need to investigate the Cyrano crash site. No, 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 no. Commander Wilcox. Wilcox. All right. This is going to be a good time to call the episode. I haven't even been paying attention to my heart rate monitor. I need to get a better one. Unfortunately, there's going to be at least one more episode where I don't have it. Well, we're going to get at least one scare on the way out here. Dust. Okay, we got a... Oh, no. Encoding overloaded. Alright, so this game definitely has some issues with fucking up my shit. And I don't think I have a good way to fix it. But, uh, unfortunately, this is where I'm calling it. Uh, for multiple reasons. One, we got it. We just got a nice, uh... We got a nice chapter break, and also, uh, well, n now my, maybe maybe I'm just sitting back and my heart and my, my heart rate really just doesn't change. Maybe maybe that is how this goes. I have, I have no idea. Uh, either way, uh, yeah, we're we're gonna go ahead and call this one here. Uh, I did notice I got super framey at the end. I I I literally have two instances of OBS running and open. So it's, it's hard for me to look at both of them at the same time. And I'm mostly watching the one that's on my computer, not the one that is encoding things um, on the other computer. So, yeah. <laughs> that's just kind of the way it goes at this point. Hopefully that wasn't too bad or too framey. It's really hard to say sometimes. I think when the game is loading stuff, it really just craps on everything. But either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time. Uh, we're still going to have a bad heart rate monitor next time. Or, or maybe it's not bad. Maybe my heart rate really just does stabilize like that. I, I doubt it because, like, organic things aren't as perfect. I, I don't know. Either way, I will see you guys all next time. And until then, keep your gears turning.